the challenges I think are sit around and doing business very differently. Um, some of the challenges sit around the new wave of leadership around transformational leadership, inclusive leadership, adaptive leadership. You know, many of our agencies come from a command and control leadership and we spoke about that briefly uh, this morning, how it's important to get that balance right. Both are essential in our agencies because that's the type of work we do. But certainly I think for some agencies, you know, this new type of leadership is something we're just venturing into and it has been challenging, but it will hold us in good stead and put us ahead of the others in the future. The push for more diversity in emergency management is really valuable in the context of leadership and, and having strong leaders who value diversity. They're the key things that I've taken away. From an operational perspective, our leadership is very sound. That's, that's recognised, we're confident with that. Uh, it's other areas of, of leadership where I think we need to develop. People look across the fence and say, police do that much better. They spend more resources in developing their people. Um, and we, I think, have been caught somewhat short in that area. So it's not that we're not capable. It's, it's, we need to focus in the broader areas of leadership and management, not just on where we're most comfortable, which is our operational response. I think the key thing for us that we've learnt time after time is that culture is the most important aspect of a learning organisation. If you don't have those fundamental cultural characteristics that support it um, and enable people to trust people with their story and their experiences, then a great process won't make any difference. Um, so that's probably our key message is that um, don't ignore culture in um, improving uh, learning and improvement. I'm a true believer in terms of empowerment of people and that's a really good principle that we apply in our response part of our business uh, and we do that through hierarchies of command and control but there's no reason why we can't also do that for um, our engagement uh, and our relationship building um, before an event as well and it's just uh, having um, a different context of the conversation uh, and less about the rank or the hierarchy more about the community and so it's not actually about us at all it's actually about the community what their needs are what their expectations are and sometimes they're different things um, and working through that uh, some of the messaging that we're we're, we're, pu we're pushing hard in our own organization is to say leadership is a responsibility of people at all levels and our and our challenge to try to get inclusion or inclusive behavior to become more normal is one of those very important elements of leadership so I think that the conference has, has given us the opportunity to see a whole range of new ideas and new concepts, um, look at the learnings that people have had around their dealings in, along the leadership journey and to, to give us opportunities to explore those in individual conversations with the presenters in the, in the Knowledge Lounge um, and then reflect on those and take them back to our own agencies and see how we can implement them without having to reinvent the wheel, how we can take other people's experiences and build on them. Mm -hmm.